Hey guys, it's me, Jammin' Music Man, and welcome to my special all-new album review video. And today I'm going to be reviewing an artist for someone who I've admired and respected and have really followed their music over the years. Someone who's uh, influenced countless generations of artists. Someone who's mixed fashion and rock together. I'm talking about none other than... David Bowie and today we're going to be reviewing what I consider David Bowie's greatest album. I'm talking about David Bowie's Heroes and for me David Bowie has you know been one of those artists that has just stuck around because he's always been one step ahead of the game. You could say David Bowie really influenced the early MTV videos because David Bowie was, was making music videos in the late 60s and 70s way before MTV. But uh, in this video, I'm just going to talk about the track listings, the feel of the album, and whether or not I recommend you picking up the album or not. But um, let's talk about what was going on with David Bowie at that time. Well, David Bowie, at this time, in 1977, he had put out, uh, this was his 12th studio album, Heroes. At that time, David Bowie, he had really built his career in 69 with Space Oddity, and in 70 or 71, he put out Hunky Dory, where he was wearing a dress, and just people were flipping out, is this guy gay or straight? And then he moved on to the Ziggy Stardust character, which put him in a rock superstardom and after the Ziggy Stardust character he moved on to his uh, Thin White Duke persona and in the mid 70s I want to say it was the Young Americans or the Station to Station album he was really burnt out he was addicted to cocaine and he was really wanting to find a sound that was all his he wanted something that was just one step ahead of all the other artists that were out there so his good friend punk legend Iggy Pop introduced him to uh, what was going on in Germany at that time and in the 70s in Germany there was the whole Krautrock boom and Krautrock were people like Kraftwerk who were the original electronic uh, musicians and uh, there was Tangerine Dream who were like experimental noise there was just so much influential uh, music going on in Germany at that time and David Bowie you know he had just fell in love with Berlin the city you know the German music that was going on at the time so he ended up moving to Berlin and living there for a few years and what came next was what became known as the Berlin Trilogy and he put out three albums that became known as the uh, the Berlin Trilogy that slow heroes and Lodger and basically you know all these albums were you know heavily influenced by people like Kraftwerk there was elements of electronic and and rock you know I know a lot of alternative rock musicians like Sonic Youth have you know praised Low as being like the first real alternative rock album and you know people have called uh, David Bowie's uh, Heroes, you know, or they've praised it for being like the first uh, album to really introduce electronic music to people like all in the U.S., England, everywhere. And I know I've seen YouTube videos, videos of uh, for the advertisement of Heroes, and there was a saying in the commercials that... Um, there's old wave, there's new wave, and then there's David Bowie. I mean, David Bowie, you could say, you know, he pretty much influenced the whole new wave genre. But, um, you know, that's a subject for another day. Let's talk about the track listings of Heroes. Uh, track number one, Beauty and the Beast. Great electronic-driven pop dance track. Uh, number two, Joe the Lion. Another great electronic uh, dance track. Um, number three, Heroes. Uh, classic track, classic electronic driven, you know, futuristic type sound. And, you know, with Heroes, you can't watch any TV commercials, any movies, and not hear Heroes. And, you know, I know the Wallflowers, they did a cover, but just not as good as David Bowie. And if you want to see a good performance of Heroes, check out David Bowie at Live Aid 1985 doing Heroes. That's a great performance. Um, number four, uh, Sons of the Silent Age. Number five, Blackout. Number six, uh, V2 Schneider. Uh, and he dedicated V2 Schneider, or he named the song V2 Schneider after one of the members of uh, Kraftwerk. 
I want to say his name is Floyd Steinerman. I can't remember. Uh, don't hate me if I got it wrong. Um, and the next following tracks, uh, tracks 7, 8, 9, or 10, are all craft work like instrumental tracks. Uh, you, you think you're listening to one whole song, but you're actually listening to three separate songs. But um, number seven, it's uh, Sense of Doubt, and then it moves into number eight, Moss Garden, and then it moves into number nine. I want to say I'm pronouncing this right. It's Nucleon. I think that's how you pronounce it. But um, And then you move on to uh, number ten, another great electronic dance pop track, uh, The Secret Life of Arabia. But um, a lot of the elements of music that you get with heroes, you get elements of electronic dance pop brought you get so many you know genres combined into one and david bowie just does that perfectly but um i highly recommend this album five star classic and if you're a david bowie fan you gotta have heroes in your collection all right guys as we wrap things up with this video be sure to like comment subscribe and i thank you guys for watching this video and if you're a fan of david bowie's heroes you know feel free to comment share your memories and opinions on this album and uh, i'm jamming music man thank you guys for watching my video and as we close this video out i'm gonna play a little heroes for you guys and i want all you guys to sing along but uh once again i'm jamming music man and i will see you guys next time but uh sing along we could be heroes just for one day we could be heroes just for one day we could be heroes just for one See you guys next time.